For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the x and y intercepts of logarithmic functions and we are going to explain everything in details. So let's have an example. On example number 1, y equals log x base 2. To find the value of x intercept, let us set y equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals log x base 2. And let us write this one into exponential form. So this will be 2 raised to 0 equals x. 2 raised to 0, that is 1. So x equals 1. Since the value of y is 0 and x is 1, our x-intercept is 1, 0. And for our y-intercept, let us have y equals log x base 2 and let us set x equal to 0 so this will be y equals log 0 base 2 and to determine the value of y intercept our argument should be greater than 0 and since our argument is equal to 0 our logarithm is undefined therefore we don't have Y intercept. That means our graph will not cross the y axis, and this will be our answer. On example number two, y equals log x plus two base two minus three. To find the value of x intercept, let us set y equal to zero. So let us have zero equals log x plus 2 base 2 minus 3 and let us move negative 3 on the side of 0 it will give us 3 equals log x plus 2 base 2 and let us write this one into exponential form so this will be 2 raised to 3 equals x plus 2 2 raised to 3 that is 8 that means you are going to multiply 2 3 times to itself and that is 8. So we have 8 equals x plus 2. And let us simplify. Let us move 2 on the side of 8. It will give us x equals 8 minus 2 and that is 6. Since the value of y is 0 and x is 6, our x-intercept is 6 comma 0. And for our y-intercept, we are going to have y equals log x plus 2 base 2 minus 3. And let us set x equal to 0. So we are going to have y equals log 0 plus 2 base 2 minus 3. So let us write y equals log 0 plus 2, that is 2 base 2 minus 3. Since our argument is greater than 0, all we have to do is to simplify this logarithm. Log 2 base 2, and that is 1, and then we have 3. 1 minus 3, and that is negative 2. Therefore, our y-intercept, since x is 0, is 0 and negative 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, y equals log x minus 2 base 2 minus 4. To find the value of x intercept, let us set y equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals log x minus 2 base 2 minus 4. And let us move negative 4 on the side of 0. It will give us 4 equals log x minus 2 base 2 and let us write this one into exponential form so this will be 2 raised to 4 equals x minus 2 2 raised to 4 that is 16 that means you are going to multiply 2 4 times itself and that is 16 so we are going to have 16 equals x minus 2 and let us move negative 2 on the side of 16 it will give us x equals 16 
plus 2. 16 plus 2 and that is 18. And since the value of y is 0 and x is 18, our x-intercept is 18, comma, 0. And for y-intercept, let us have y equals log x minus 2 base 2 minus 4. And let us set x equal to 0. So we are going to have y equals log 0 minus 2 base 2 minus 4. So let us write y equals log 0 minus 2 that is negative 2 base 2 minus 4. And to find the value of y-intercept, our argument should be greater than 0. And since negative 2 is less than 0, our logarithm is undefined. Therefore, we don't have y intercept. That means our graph will not cross the y axis and this will be our answer. On example number 4, y equals log x plus 4 base 2 minus 1. To find the value of x intercept, let us set y equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals log x plus 4 base 2 minus 1. And let us move negative 1 on the side of 0. It will give us 1 equals log x plus 4 base 2. And let us write this one into exponential form. So this will be 2 raised to 1 equals x plus 4. 2 raised to 1, that is 2, equals x plus 4. And let us simplify. Let us move 4 on the other side of equation. It will give us x equals 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. Since the value of y is 0 and x is negative 2, our x-intercept is negative 2, comma, 0. And for y-intercept, let us have y equals log x plus 4 base 2 minus 1. And let us set x equal to 0. So this will be y equals log 0 plus 4 base 2 minus 1. So let us simplify. Let us write y equals log 0 plus 4, that is 4, base 2 minus 1. Since our argument is greater than 0, and that is 4, all we have to do is to simplify this one. So log 4, base 2, that is 2 minus 1. And 2 minus 1, that is 1. Since the value of x is 0 and y is 1, our y-intercept is 0 and 1. And this will be our answer. On our last example, y equals negative log x minus 2 base 1 half plus 4. To find the value of x-intercept, let us set y equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals negative log x minus 2 base 1 half plus 4. And to eliminate the negative sign, let us move this one on the other side of equation. So this will be log x minus 2 base 1 half equals 4. And let us write this one into exponential form. So this will be 1 half raised to 4 equals x minus 2. 1 half raised to 4, that is 1 over 16. That means you are going to distribute the exponent on the numerator and denominator. And then, let us have 1 over 16 equals x minus 2. And let us simplify. Let us move negative 2 on the other side of equation. So this will be x equals 1 over 16 plus 2. 1 over 16 plus 2, that is 2, and 1 over 16.
Since the value of y is 0 and x is 2 and 1 over 16, our x-intercept is 2 and 1 over 16, comma, 0. And for y-intercept, let us have y equals negative log x minus 2 base 1 half plus 4. And let us set x equal to 0. So this will be y equals negative log 0 minus 2 base 1 half plus 4. And let us write y equals negative log 0 minus 2, that is negative 2, base 1 half plus 4. And to determine the value of y-intercept, our argument should be greater than 0. And since negative 2 is less than 0, our logarithm is undefined. Therefore, we don't have y-intercept. That means our graph will not cross the y-axis and this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.